What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Thunder Valley. <laughs> Insert thunder here. <laughs> oh, we're already starting out silly. So, welcome to Thunder Valley. This is a pretty cool map. There's a lot of storage. I mean, a ton of storage. You got your three bunkers over here. You've got these three huge buildings here. You've got your main building here. It and this is just the main farm. I mean, it is is absolutely nuts. Got a place where you can edit your vehicles. A very large area at that. Very good, very good, very good. So let's talk about a couple different things. First off, the silos. You would think this being a pretty big field map. Hope that makes sense. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Gah! That's what I wanted to do. Um, what all do you get? You get a pretty decent amount of stuff to start off with. 14,000. I believe that's 14,000. Yeah. 14,000 wheat. 13,000 barley. Uh, 11,000 canola. 10,000 sunflowers. 8,000 soybeans. 8,000 corn. Uh, this is an easy mode, though, so keep that in mind. Um, up here we have storage capacity. 100,000 liters. You are definitely, definitely, definitely going to need uh, some silo um, extensions on this guy. And you would think with all the storage that it would, but nope. Uh, this is really cool. I love this. You drop and get from the same place. So there's no extra area to be, anything like that. I think that's pretty cool. So let's talk about the gear that you get. Let's head into the garage. So we have three Case IH 1455XLs. Um, they're all kind of different prices. They have some different hours on them. We have the Case Axle Flow 1660. Uh, we have the Capello uh, Quasar F4, which is a 3 meter. We got the Case 1030, 14 foot. Uh, we have the Metal Tech, and there's a new Metal Tech mod out already, so that'll look good with that. Uh, we have a Cultivator, which is a 3 meter. We got a Plow, 2 meter. We have a Great Plains Cedar. So, Cultivator, Plow, and a Cedar. That Cedar would do the main primary crop. Um, so, not a whole ton to do on this map. You do start off with field number 13. Let's uh, just kind of jump in the tractor and take a little tour around here. So yeah, this is your main farm. It's pretty nice. It's pretty big, I'll tell you that. Uh, where do we turn in? I don't even know where in the world we turn in to get in there. We're just gonna kind of go across. Now we'll see. This first field that you start off with is not small. You can see on the left side here. I mean, this is a large field. This is a large starting field. Uh, you could even easily partition this out um, if you wanted to stop it here. You could easily plow that up and uh or stop cultivating right here go straight across then you'd have field here field over there still two very very large fields i mean big um couple main points there are no uh there are no chickens on this map this was made very clear so keep that in mind um the buy Areas are just right there, as you see, the normal ones that you're used to. First things first, we're going to head to the store. We're going to check out the store. So the store, you just take a left from that area and you come up here. Now, we do have uh, some, some used parts, obviously, from other maps. I mean, we will. This is a, a fairly, small, um, fairly small map size in terms of stiff. So here's our shop. Uh, it is a normal shop. 
go in here do your thing all that that kind of good stuff you can drive through which is pretty cool uh, however when you buy stuff it does not appear in there like normally what it appears over here in this area right here this large area um, so you can buy I'd say just about as much as you want but you could buy some stuff <laughs> You know what I mean. As long as you get the money for it, you can have whatever you want. We got a couple sell points here. Uh, this is the first sell point right there. Probably used to seeing that one on Goldcrest Valley. Uh, we have another sell point around here somewhere. Yeah, right here. What sell point is this? That is the town bakery? Spinnery. Hey, that's the spinnery. So you drive through there, there goes your wool. And then over here we have the diner, which is another cell point. Just a drive over. Neato, 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 neato. Let's uh, flip a Yui here. We're gonna go take a look at the sawmill. Sawmills right over here. Uh, you can take a look at Grain Elevator 2 at the bottom left hand corner of the map. That is just another drive over kind of thing. It's just another basic cell point. So, uh, very, very basic. I believe I'm on the wrong side. Can, uh. Hey, you can't go in the water. Sweet. Cannot jump. Well, we kind of jump. Is it getting me there any quicker? Not really. There we go. May have to get our vehicle back. Here is the cell point for wood chips, it looks like. Yep, that's good. Uh, see, it's showing it as like right here. So I would assume this is a mill pond of sorts. Um, I can neither confirm nor deny the mill pond um, thing. However, this is a pretty, pretty good size area right here. Uh, I imagine the wood's going to be over here somewhere. Let's check it out. Going on foot, man. Going on foot's a little, a little slow. All right, so the wood goes here. So I'm assuming that it is not a mill pond. So, regardless, let's jump back in our tractor here. Continue. Oh, a little gun uh, shooter's nest right there. Uh, next up, we are going to go over to the tree farm. You see that is on the left-hand side of the map. We're going to jump over there. Now, we'll show you this. This is actually really cool. Um, you've got this, like, zigzag almost. And it's, it's a very, very logging esque area um, you see the wood you got the trees I mean this is a it's a cool logging area see I don't do a lot of logging but I would say I mean it looks pretty cool uh, there's your sawmill like we had again you got a pull off area right here You've got some storage storage area right here. If you want to do a lot of logging, you'll be able to put your uh, put your equipment there. That's pretty cool. Head up this hill. Maybe should have got a different tractor. You should have sold them all. <laughs> Nonetheless, it'll show you how quickly you can get around with just the base equipment. Here we are at Tree Farm. This looks to be another basic cell point let's confirm that tree farm tree farm will accept solid manure liquid manure and wood chips so it looks like this is the wood chip cell point I would assume yep and then we have our solid and liquid manure um, or manure Sub point over here. Pretty cool. That's good to know. It's, uh, yeah, very, very good to know. Okay, let's, let's do a little reset here. Let's jump in here. 
And let's go down. That's so cool. Let's go down and check out, I believe, it's the cow pasture. Now, the cow pasture is right down here. So you got on the main farm, take a right. And we're going to take a left here. You can almost see it off in the distance. Uh, there's just tons of storage on this map. However, I will say, the map boundaries are fairly close to the road. Uh, so that is definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, when, when like looking at these maps and everything, that the, the boundaries are pretty close. Now, we'll say, though, the sides are close. So uh, let's jump in here. Sides are pretty close, however, the ends, there is ample room to turn around. Regardless of the type of equipment you have, you will definitely be able to turn around at the end of most all of these fields. Uh, we do have a placeable area, which is really cool. Uh, thank you to the map maker for including this. Uh, we have this entire area. You use it for grass. It's, it's, uh, it is yours. You can do whatever you want with this, with this area. You mow the grass. I don't believe it can be fertilized. It doesn't look like it can be. Um, you've got this hard placeable area right here. You put a few things around the edges, anything like that. It's really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, this map does have golden nuggets. So if you want a golden nugget, pa boom You've discovered a golden nugget. One of a hundred. We do have a silo down here. Bunker silo, pretty cool. Um, You've got a place for your water. You got a long food trough. Very long. And then another one for your water down here. Uh, nowhere, no covered area for the cows, but it's okay. Uh, this map is very, very open. This is where you will buy and sell. And then you have your solid manure and liquid manure areas right here. Slurry. Uh, we also have some more bunkers here for you to just put whatever you want in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man. <laughs> six areas. So you've got plenty of place, plenty of storage down here to put whatever you want. All right. So we've checked out the left side, the middle, and the bottom of the map. Let's... There we go. Get another tractor. We'll have to just jump around. That's all right. So now we're going to go check out the sheep, the pigs, the BGA. Uh, we're also going to go check out Farm Barn and Grain Elevator 1. So to get to your other animals, you're going to take a left out of the main farm, take a right, and then take your immediate left. As you can see, we're in here now. This is where your sheep go, right here. Again, some more bunkers here. You can put whatever you want in there. Um, if me calling them bunkers is irritating you, let me know. This is where you buy and sell. Right here. Boom, sheep. Pretty expensive for sheep. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and turn automatic engine and start off. There we go. Again, water and food. Uh, there's no points around the water, but it's definitely where the water goes. And then your wool will spawn over here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like how everything's very organized and laid out and makes a lot of sense. Here are your pigs. This is where your solid and liquid manure, uh, manure will spawn. You also have... Your food over here, very, very sensical. You have food and water. No new models, nothing crazy. Exactly what we're used to, exactly what we're used to seeing. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, everything makes sense. And again, three more bunkers right here. It's, it's insane. It's crazy. Uh, and so, let's check out BGA. Oh, oh, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. 
Let's check out the BGA bunker. We're going to go up the hill right here. And then we're going to take a right. I will see you there. So I had to jump in here quick. Uh, this place is absolutely enormous. Uh, I just want to get that out of the way first. We've got a huge metal shed right here. We've got area over here. Uh, this is where your... Uh, um, that stuff that you make. That, the, the, not slurry, but the, the other stuff. You, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the <laughs> this right here is where you'll put everything. You'll load into there. Neat. Neat. It's got the flegal things, and I'm, I imagine they are uh, edited. Uh, now, they're animated. This is the crazy part. There are one, two, three, four, five, wait, there's more, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bunker silos. Ten freaking bunker silos. How incredible is that? That's. It's, it's absolutely crazy. It is... Oh, I'm looking the wrong way here. There we go. Ooh, a little, little jittery back there. Okay. Okay, Xbox, I see you. Um, so, I mean, there's... Ten, what? Ten? Do you need ten? I mean, map is pretty large. Get a bunch of corn out. Uh, this would make a really cool multiplayer map. If you want to do a bunch of silo or... Uh, you know, stuff like that. Man, this would be cool. Alright, there is one area that I want to check out because I don't know anything about it. Uh, and it looks very interesting. Uh, we're actually going to be heading past the BGA, which is enormous. Uh, really, really good. I like that. That's pretty cool. Again, uh, being American, I like these huge, wide open maps. This is right up my alley. It really is. Um, speaking of it being right up my alley, let me look at my notes here. Uh, we are going to be live streaming this on Friday, uh, 8 p.m. Um, on the East Coast. So, um, be 8 p.m., so 5 p.m. on the West Coast. And uh, if you live anywhere in between, you will know when that is. So, check that out. Uh, it may be multiplayer, it may be single player. We will just see what all my buddies are up to at the time. Okay, so this is another placeable area. Wow, this is big. Look at the size of it on the map. Um, it is a very good size placeable. So, here's another another placeable. Goodness, I got the hiccups. <laughs> I just had a uh, Mountain Dew Code Red. It's about 2.15 in the morning. <laughs> And then check this out. Another placeable area. Smaller this time. But if you wanted to put, like, uh, all your seed in, uh, over here and fertilizer over there or, or anything, you could you could do any of that. It, it just doesn't, doesn't matter what you want to do. You can do it. And that's, a, that's so cool, isn't it? Right? It's got to be cool. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it is. It's cool. So, we're going to go out of that area, hang a right. I actually can go downhill a little bit. Let's see if we can max this guy out. 27? Ah, 26. Can't, can't get up 28. We did get 27 out of it, though. So, we got that entire area up there. Um, the area above us right here is another area where you could easily go up there and mow, anything like that. You can get, you can get to it easily. Uh, so, again, here's where our animals were. We basically done a u-turn how many times did i say basically i'm sorry if i said it more than once i'm so sorry because that's annoying hanging right out of here we're gonna go straight we're gonna go check out grain elevator one and we're gonna check out farm barn farm barn farm barn yes grain elevator one looks exactly like grain elevator two um and Instead of being in the back, like Green Elevator 2 is, this one's in the front. Nice. Get a little, little bit of air right there. Neat. So that's another cell point. And our very last cell point that we are going to go over 
is Farm Barn. Now, we'll go over here. Um, I don't know if there are jobs or missions, field missions. No space for mission vehicles. Please move your equipment away. So, yes. Uh, and I believe, yep, this is the largest field on the map. And it costs 1.9 million. So, about two, uh, two million dollars there. That's a lot of money. But, oh, there's a fence there. Can't do that. But, if you got the map, you could do it. We should be getting pretty close to Farm Barn. Uh, please let me know if this huge map is annoying on screen. I just want you to be able to see the entire map, see what's going on, see where I'm at, all the goodies. All the goodies. So, Farm Barn, all right. This looks to be the same barn that is on the most of the main maps, most of the normal maps. I'm guessing that it is. It's just a normal. Yeah, I can, I can see. So it's just a, just a drive-through. Yep. Cool. Well, I believe that that is it for this map. If you have any questions about it, uh, make sure you leave those down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, if there's something that I don't know, I will find it out for you. Um, so we'll we'll make sure we take care of that. So, with that being said. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please drop a like. If you've not already, please subscribe. And we will see you later. Peace.